How's it going, everybody? It's Pilot Flame, and we are back with a, another FPL live stream. Um, we're going to start on a serious note here, actually. Um, so, yeah, uh, we obviously all saw the nonsense and stuff about the Super League that went on. Um, and I thought it was pretty real. I thought it was pretty real. I thought that this could potentially be, you know, the big six teams not being in the Premier League. You know, all the stuff that we potentially thought. Um, you know, the trickle effect down on the fact that the football pyramid would be distraught. Um, and yeah, it uh, didn't look good for a while. But uh, this opened up the fans' eyes. I've been seeing it for a little while thinking that potentially this could be a thing and it wouldn't be great for football uh, by any means. And I'm not saying that the new Champions League format's that much better either. Um, it's the lesser of two evils at the moment. Uh, so we need to open our eyes. So I think it's time time for change. And I think we need to see, uh, to call out uh, the, the, the snakes, the culprits, uh, where possible. Um, and it, it starts from uh, all the clubs uh, that were basically involved. But more importantly, the clubs in uh, our, our Premier League because uh, they're the ones ruining the game. It seems like the likes of Liverpool and Man United were heading the Super League thing. Uh, so Joel Glazer, uh, Adam Glazer, the Glazer family, Ed Woodward was one of the main players. As well as Stan Kroenke from Arsenal and John W. Henry from Liverpool. Those are the owners i'm not even going to call them owners because they're basic custodians they should be privileged to be on top and being able to run these clubs because those clubs will be there forever and for always they will not they are not bigger than the clubs and they're acting like they're some type of you know big joe blow okay cool you had a lot of money you stepped on a lot of people's toes but the fans just aren't having it anymore. You are a custodian. You should be privileged to run such a, an established club of over 100 years of football heritage in the UK. We need your help as fans. So if you are in the UK and you're able to, you know, go to protests, if you're able to even post things uh, on social media, uh, any part will do. I'm doing my part on Twitter. Anytime I see anything, because I don't live in the UK and I won't be able to go there for at least until COVID dies down. If you're able to go to these protests and want your voice to be heard, whether you're an Arsenal fan, United fan, Liverpool fan, Chelsea fan, Man City fan, at any one of the rallies, I know a lot of people are going to be taking a little stroll, a little little bit of a little bit of a late night walk down at around 6 p.m. Uh, in the general area of London. Uh, and they may happen to stop by, uh, you know, the Emirates just just to take a little gander what it looks like, you know, and maybe if they meet some people there, they uh, they, they might, uh, uh, you know, help, you know, loosen up their vocal cords a little bit, if you know what I mean. But if you can go down there, let your voice be heard. It stops here and we have to get these owners out at all costs. They try to take what we love away from us. And as you heard at the beginning, just before the stream started, it's time to go. Get out John W. Henry, get out Glazers, get out Stan Kroenke, get out, get out, get out. Take your Super League, pack your bags, and leave football for good. You think you can come over here and do things that aren't the way they're supposed to be done in this country. Legislation needs to be made. These football clubs need to be protected. The fans are what made them, and without the fans, they wouldn't exist. So do your part as a football fan because this, you know, all this nonsense that Perez is talking about, the Real Madrid president, he still thinks that this thing can still happen. And I believe it still potentially can, but we have the, the possibility to stop it. We stopped it in the first place and we can make sure that it doesn't happen at all. Talk to your MPs, talk to your local government bodies, protest, post things on social media. Make sure if you do go to any form of protest or anything like that, socially distance and wear a mask. I got my second vaccine shot today. And if I could go to these protests, if I was in the UK, I would be going to the one at Arsenal if I could. I would be going to the one at Man United. I'd be going to the one at Liverpool. I would literally be hand in hand with my rival clubs to make sure that these owners never step foot and manage these clubs 
ever again. Never let them into football. They should never have been football. They're only in for one thing and one thing only, so that they can make their pockets even more full than what they already are. They're talking about oh, having, oh, we had a hard time during the pandemic. Absolute nonsense. You're billionaires for a reason. You've been taking money. You've been milking the fans for years. It's not just this Super League thing. It's UEFA. It's FIFA. It's all these matters. Ticket price increases. All that amount of nonsense. Paying $15 for Burnley versus Fulham and stuff like that. Absolute nonsense. These owners are a part of it. They are, they are part of starting up the Super League. Get out. Get out. Get out. It's time to go! Yeah!